enjoying Chinese calligraphy class so far. My favorite part of the class is learning about the three famous calligraphy pieces in Chinese history. Oh, nice. Who's your favorite calligrapher? My favorite calligrapher, I would say, is Yan Zhenqing. I really liked his Requiem to my nephew, especially when I learned about the conditions that he was in when he was writing it. I felt like it was so emotionally touching. How about you? Um, my favorite calligrapher was Su Shi. Through his works, you can really understand his personal feelings and philosophies. What's, What's that? that? What's this? Angela, open it! Oh my god, it's a recipe for Don Poro, named after Su Shi, right? Oh my god, yes! I think it is! We have to try making it. Yes. Let's go! Hi guys, we're currently on our way to um, HR to get the ingredients mm -hmm. for the recipe. So we just got all of our ingredients for Dong Poro. Here we have our pork single rib belly. <laughs> <laughs> and we have our soy sauce, double fermented of course. Our rice wine, um, rock sugar, ginger, and chives. So we're currently prepping our ingredients. Um, I'm cutting up the ginger and green onion, and Angela's cutting the meat. <laughs> the pork. And they'll all go in this pot. So now we have our vegetables in the pot. We're gonna arrange our meat face down, or skin down. Um, they go just like... <laughs> also known by his art name, Su Dongpo, is one of the most well-known and celebrated calligraphers in Chinese history. He was a major personality of the Song Dynasty, operating as an active poet, calligrapher, and literati. He also played an important role in Song Dynasty politics. His political alignments, which ultimately led to his repeated banishments to increasingly undeveloped territories, strongly influenced his later works. One of his most famous poems, called The Cold Food Observance, expresses loneliness and disappointment while being banished to the Hubei province. This particular piece is considered one of the three running script calligraphy masterpieces. Today, however, we will be making something else that celebrates Su Shi, a dish called Dong Po Rou. As the story goes, one day, Su had a pot of braised pork simmering on the stove when an old friend visited him and challenged him to a game of Chinese chess. As the challenging game consumed his focus, Su lost track of time and consequently overcooked his pork to the point where it gave off a fragrance as it began to burn, thus creating an important culinary addition. Years later, as he oversaw renovations of the West Lake, Sul gave his hard-working workers cubes of braised pork secured with rope to thank them for their hard work, thus introducing it to the working class and the masses and influencing how the dish is traditionally served today. While this may be a tall tale, what remains true is that the dish has since been named after Sul Dongpo and is closely associated with him and Hangzhou in history. So to write Dong and Dongpo Rao, we first write a Hang, a Shu, Hang Zha, Hung, then a hung, then shu, go, pie, and finally a na. Next, to write the character po, we start with a hung, then a shu, then another hung to finish the tu zi pang. Um, Next, we do a hung zhe, and then a pie, then a shu, then we have a hung pie, and we finish with a na. To write the roll, we first have a shu, hung, 
，折钩，呃，小撇，小捺，然后再来一个小撇，小捺。Finished making our dumpling roll. This is the final result.、Ah! This is the final result. Are you ready? Yes. Let's have a piece. Okay. Baby, cheers. Oh my god! It's actually pretty good. It's actually、oh、really good.、Mm -hmm. Especially for like. That's a simple recipe. Mhm.、Mm、Six ingredients. Mhm.、Mm、mhm.、Mm、Thank you, Sushi. <laughs> Thank you, Sushi. <laughs>